very amicable good evening to everybody present over here and topic for today's lecture it is ASEAN ASEAN stands for Association of Southeast Asian Nations now from the full form only we can conclude that it includes the nations which are coming in Southeast Asia there are several nations which are in Southeast Asia but who are among those which are in both of these groups so there are 10 members first one is Brunei then comes Laos Cambodia Vietnam Indonesia Myanmar Malaysia Philippines Singapore and Thailand so these are the nations which together constitute the ASEAN group. Now let's just talk about its history, its prime objectives, its current position as well as its impact on world forums. One by one we'll cover this. Talking about its history, this organization came into effect in 1967. Now what was the real need to form such kind of organization in Southeast Asia? When we talk about its history and when we talk about 1960s and 1970s, we can have a fair idea that the whole Southeast Asia was full of chaos at that point of time. The countries like India was fighting war with China, was fighting war with Pakistan. Countries like Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam was fighting for their independence. So in order to have that independence, in order to maintain their political sovereignty, this organization came into picture. Because these countries had already seen the impact of neo-imperialism and neo-colonialism. Mexico is one of the best example of neo imperialism which is, is still facing. Now, uh, now these countries wanted to avoid these kinds of things in future. That's why this organization came into picture. From, uh, from geographical point of view, uh, we can also have an idea that these all these countries, all these 10 nations are small in size. Small in size in terms of its area as well as in terms of its population. So these countries were uh, having a fear that their independence can uh, go away. So in order to maintain their independence, in order to maintain their political sovereignty, social sovereignty, economic sovereignty, these countries join together and form an ASEAN group. Now the prime objective of this organization is also same, to maintain the political harmony, social harmony, cultural one and having economic tie-ups not only with ASEAN countries but also with the countries which are, uh, the countries which are in Asia, uh, South Asia. Now, uh, when we talk about ASEAN and when we talk about India and what, uh, what is the relationship between ASEAN and India. So it is one of the best relationship, one of the uh, very fruitful relationship because most of the ASEAN countries are major exporters of palm oil as well as other ingredients and India is the biggest import, importer of these things. 